Studio One 3.1. This is an update that I feel is worth talking about. I can't talk about everything that they've done under the hood, but there are a few that stood out to me the most. Now, here's one of those things that I like about this update. Now you have the ability to add favorites. This is something that I thought was pretty awesome. All right, I was I just did the update and then the first thing that I noticed like wait, what is this section up here? This is pretty cool. And also the uh, uh the plugin management or the plugin manager as you can see it looks like I don't have much plugins over here, but that's because I I cleaned them up. All right? So, and basically the way you do that is by clicking this wrench icon right here. All right. And all of the other stuff, like, you know, with the other plugins, you may have two versions of it, you know, especially for native instrument stuff. You, you may have an AU version and then you got the VST version and also with your wage stuff, you got, you know, several versions. And so I hit that stuff. You know doing it this way and voila so it's, that's a great way to clean up everything but the stuff still stays or remains installed on your system is just you know it's just a cleaner look right now with the favorites um, you can definitely add favorites by right clicking and selecting favorite um, you can do it that way you can see the stars you know you, know, you can you know when scrolling through the stuff you could definitely see that and another way to get to them is by clicking on favorites here at the top and you can see you know this is just a quick way to just jump into your favorite stuff which is pretty dope all right so those that's that's you know some things that stuck out to me the most also the next thing i've noticed is in the um the range window here you've noticed that the channels now has full color now before on the side here you know you always could see the, the the sad strip here you know that was in color but this here now is now in color so for instance if i change this to i don't know what's an exotic color yellow all right so now you can see the actual color on the channel itself which is pretty dope you know like i say it, it was only you know on the side strip cool cool the next thing i've noticed is um you know i should have stayed over here in this folder but anyway um when you click on this little folder up here it says note effects here that's dope all right note effects usually was only you was only able to see it over here you know but you had to have the um the inspector window selected and then add your note effects because i was looking for like you know i need a page yet i know studio one got one but i just can't find it yeah it's in your inspector window and that's where i found it but they also added here over here in your your note effects here so now you can you can see that quick way to get to those which is pretty dope now this is another photo multi-instrument i have not been able to play with that yet but um i will I will see what that's all about. I don't know if that's something new or some new effects, but um, but anyway, let's dive into something that was really major to me. This is something that um, this is a, a drum a drum track that I that I've um, that I am working on currently at the moment. I went ahead and updated and started this drum track for a client. My my job was to come up with a urban a urban upbeat or whatever. comes in right here all right so this is the thing if you're like me when you're creating your music you um you like to bounce and place all of your wave files so if i'm in here in my uh, in my plugin whatever plugin you're using i like to bounce this stuff down all right i like to bounce it down to avoid several instances of this same plugin you know, if I got this drums on it, then I got at least keys going on. If I got something else, strings going on, 
I just kind of want to just work with one contact file at the time because it definitely saves on your CPU. I mean, you can definitely do it like that, but I just prefer not to. So everything that I've done, all of the drum sounds, I managed to export them out individually every time I created something new because, you know, that's just what I do. It definitely helps me in the workflow. I mean, it takes a little time to do it, but I have a key command, so, you know, I get it. I knock it out immediately. So, but the thing is, what came with that was a glitch that was annoying when you do that. Before, there was like this, this, uh, this little glitch noise that happened right at the beginning of the wave file. All right, and oftentimes I would have to take the file and just dial back like this, or I'll grab the fade tool. You know what I mean? But this is annoying when you exporting things that has the attack at at the the at the beat that that you exported. And what I mean by that, say for instance, say for instance, my my beat was right here. All right, my kick. Say say this is a kick, and I come in right here. Now by that glitch that usually happened in the beginning, right at the tip. I have to had zoom in like this all the way in and and find that glitch and then dial back same they can't find it like this you know what I mean to avoid that little hike that little noise glitch it, it was like a click a annoying click and 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 you got snares claps hi hats kick shakers whatever even even music you know bass um strings whatever and you, you start to wonder like what is that extra sound that i didn't put in this this song oh it's the glitch in front you know so what i did was i gotten smart and what i had to do was uh, depending on where I'm starting the song at, I would just start it like before I need to come in. So I'll start recording like boom or or the bounce. I'm sorry, when bouncing in place, I have to like push out the, the MIDI file, you know, kind of grab the, the edge or the tip of it and move it back like that. And then when it bounce, instead of the um that little glitch happening right here, it will happen right here where nothing is. And I'll just pull it back like that. And that's how I was doing it for a while. But it seems as though Studio One fixed that problem, which I am very so grateful. So that's that's some of those things that I've noticed. There's definitely a lot of things under the hood that they fixed, but um, I, I'm not going to talk about it. There, there was a lot of updates for the, um, the 192, the um, interface, the Persona's interface of 192. A lot of things you can do with that something that is on my list I'm, I'm i'm definitely gonna get one of those Re recording rate that's 192 Ooh, that's that's sick right there but uh anyway that that's pretty much it um that i wanted to show you guys uh there was uh some things that was added here i don't know if this was always here show audio devices controls but um yeah they got some pretty dope things that they're doing or that they did um, the main thing about Studio One or Personas that I love about them is they answer our calls. They answer our, our issues and, and they add a few few things like, okay, for your for your trouble, here's a few more things that we're going to change for y'all and I hope y'all like it. And I must say every update is like a surprise. Like, wow, okay, this is new. They add this. Okay, they move this over here, which makes better sense. And it just totally works. It totally works. I'm I'm curious to know the other things. I I know about some of the other things, but I'm just not going to talk about it right now. This is some this is a few other things that I that I will mention, but you know, it's not it's not a, a real a real issue. It's actually geared towards something else. But this is dope. This is dope. This is dope. I I like what they're doing, and that's one of the reasons why I'm sticking with Studio One. I am a personas man. All right, I am a personas man. For many years, I was lost. But now I am found. <laughs> all right, guys, I got to get back to work. This is Ella. All right. Music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture. <laughs>